Hey, what's up guys? Just wanted to give you guys a happy weekend. I hope you've had a good one. Uh, it's been a little kind of gloomy here the past few hours because Sunday is just not a very good day for weather today. Saturday was actually pretty nice. It was a little chilly with the wind though. Um, I wanted to uh, let you guys know that Steve Ramsey has got me hooked on uh, the movie Frozen. And for some reason, my, my wife and I tend to like it more than my daughter. <laughs> It's actually a really good movie. The music is pretty cool in it, too. If you ever get a chance to see that movie, I highly recommend that. It's pretty cool. Oh, and I also uh, give a big thank you out to Gary Graham. He and his son, who I found out lives not too far away from me, dropped by the shop. Uh, they are some subscribers of my channel, and they uh, wanted to come by and see the ultimate table saw cabinet. Dun, dun, dun. Anyway, he wanted to get an uh, up-close and personal look at that cabinet and uh, wanted to meet me and introduce me to his son. And I uh, wanted to thank you guys for dropping by. It was a real pleasure meeting you guys. I uh, hope you uh, enjoy the channel to, uh, for all the videos to come. So thank you very much for dropping by. I wanted to go over a couple of things about the project that uh, we just did last week. Uh, well, last actually it was this week because I just posted it, I think sometime this week. You know, the days are starting to run together so much that I can't even remember when I do things anymore. My new job is uh, keeping me busy as far as my mindset goes because I've got a lot of things swimming around in my head. Whenever I go up there, there's just a lot of things to take care of. So in any case, um, the uh, questions that some people had about this project, the toolbox especially, um, you guys know that on the bottom I did a kind of a rabbit lock joint to join the bottom with the sides and the end. And in the video, it, it was kind of unclear what I did the lock joint on. And I actually made that rabbit lock joint on the bottom all four sides. And I put the groove uh, to accept that on all four pieces, the two end caps and the two sides. So it all fit together like a puzzle. Uh, but everything is led into another like the handle is led into the two end caps because i drilled uh, drilled down a what um i think it's a half inch uh counter countersunk hole or counter board hole rather yeah a lot of people uh, are correcting me about the whole countersink and counter bore thing when i did that craig jig drill bit whatever you know <laughs> vocabulary i swear but in any case i uh, counter bored a half inch deep hole here for the handle on either end cap uh, I did rabbit joints on the two sides to accept on the end caps. I did the, the rabbit uh, lock joints for the bottom to accept. So uh, everything is put together with just glue and joinery. There are no mechanical fasteners in this thing whatsoever. Uh, this is going to be a very sturdy toolbox and toy for uh, years to come for anybody who has it. And if you're an adult that wants it just to have it, I will not judge whatsoever. I have my own too. Um, the auction. Uh, I now officially have this thing up on eBay for auction. Um, I started the bid at $25, which with the work I put into this, that is very, very low. <laughs> but uh, it is uh, on, on up for auction. I've got the link down below in the description so you can click on that to bid on this if you like. And like I said, the money that will be raised for this will just help fund the show because I do not have any kind of income right now uh, except for the money I make off uh, my advertisements. So uh, that will help buy some material for future projects or future auctioned projects. The website, uh, I can safely say that I have not started any website work yet. <laughs> I, hope to, I hope to get on that. Uh, starting tomorrow after work. I'll just have to do a couple hours each night. But I really, really, really want to get that website done because it's a thorn in my side right now. Let's see. Let me touch on a few videos that I have found on YouTube this, uh, this week that I really think you guys ought to check out. The one I want to start with is woodworking with ADD. Uh, this gentleman actually found my table saw cabinet online and uh, he had had plans to do this long, long time ago and just never got around to starting it. Well, after he saw mine finished, that kind of put a fire under him to get his done and he has been working tirelessly through snow uh, to get his done and he actually works outside and I feel so bad seeing him work on this table saw outside. It's just crazy. Um, but that's just something you want to check out. Uh, he is pretty close to finishing. The finish line is very close in sight for him. Uh, he's probably got another couple weeks 
maybe three weeks on it left uh, to get it finished, but he's got all his cabinetry built and painted. He's got his table saw mounted, so he's getting really close. I, so I, I urge you guys to check that out. Um, Jay Bates and his uh, boot jack. Uh, I actually built a boot jack not too long ago for my father, and whenever I did it, I was trying to use my heel as an outline. I was just putting my heel on a piece of board and traced around it, and I got it a little too big whenever I was done and it didn't quite work right. Um, but <laughs> I, I mean, for anybody that's in the South or uh, just ha has a country kind of lifestyle, you all know what a boot jack is. Uh, it's, it's a really useful thing to have in your closet to be able to remove your shoes or even just in your shop by the back door. Uh, if you don't wanna, if you have a wife that don't let you wear shoes in the house, perfect, perfect item. So, uh, Jay, I want to thank you for putting that out and the fact that you showed that it could be done in a uh, house instead of a glorified shop or a garage uh, shows a lot for that project. So, thank you for doing that. And I wanted to thank uh, Dave Pasciutto on his woodworking weekly wrap-up review. I probably said that wrong. Okay, weekly woodworking wrap-up review. There we go. Uh, and he had featured me on his uh, latest episode and I wanted to thank you for that. Uh, I've had a few more subscribers because of that and I'm so glad that you as well as your viewers are enjoying my channel. So uh, thank you again David. Well guys that pretty much wraps it up. For any of the videos that I mentioned or channels that I mentioned you can find links to those in the description and uh, if you have any other questions regarding this channel as well as the free plans I also want to thank everybody that has sent me an email for the free plans on this project. Uh, like I said, it was fun to make and I know you guys are going to have a blast making it as well and my plans are pretty accurate uh, to the measurement number on the parts that you need to cut. So it should be very easy to put together. Uh, if you don't have a tinning jig to make your grooves, just make you one to slide on your, on your fence. You can find plenty of videos out there uh, on how to make a tinning jig that rides along your fence. Other than that, guys, I hope you have a great rest of your week. And uh, like I said, I hope to have my website up and a project started soon after. So until then, I will talk to you guys later. Have a great day.